Hey guys, Mark with Damascus Enterprises. So we are here today. We want to take some time and go over what we do during a spring pond cleaning. So as you can see behind me here, uh, we've got uh, one of our ponds that has a net on it. Uh, so we're going to remove the net. Uh, also, we are going to uh, get the bubbler removed, uh, the heater removed, and get everything ready and cleaned up and ready for the season. So uh, sit back. We're going to take some time and show you guys what we do. So as you can see, we've got the net off of our pond. So we're, uh, we're gonna walk over here. And as you can see, we have the net in the yard here. And we are going through it. We're gonna pull the leaves, debris, uh, any sticks, things like that out of the net before we put it away for the season. And that way it's nice and clean in the fall when we're ready to put it back on. Okay, as you can see, we've got the net and the stakes twine off the pond now. So we store all of our nets in a blue bag. Uh, these blue bags and your stakes will be left somewhere around the pond for you all to store for the season. Uh, that way you'll know exactly to look for a blue bag uh, when it comes time to pull the net out for the fall. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start draining this down now and start uh, getting the fish out and picking debris. So we are pumping the pond down now, uh, putting that into our blue holding tank uh, up here. And then that way we have a place for our fish to kind of settle in while we're cleaning the pond. Uh, we want to use as much as their water as they're used to uh, up here. As long as that water's clean, we're going to use as much as we can out here. If it's uh, green or dirty or nasty, uh, we're going to put a little bit in here and then just pump the rest out of the pond uh, and then start adding fresh water before uh, we put the fish back in. That way they have a little time to acclimate in our holding tank before they go back in the pond. So uh, right now we are going to start cleaning our skimmer. Uh, so we have our skimmer basket out already. Uh, Patrick is pulling the filter mat out. Uh, this is all going to get cleaned up. Uh, we're going to pull our pump out. Uh, get everything cleaned up and wiped down and ready for the season. Also, uh, while we're doing this and waiting for our pond to pump down here, we're going to come over here. We're going to pull out our lava rocks or bio balls. Uh, also, there are two filter pads in here. We're going to pull those out as well. Uh, also, we've got some lights in our waterfall here. We're going to pull the lights out and uh, get those cleaned up and replace them if they need to be, uh, if they're under warranty, obviously. Uh, also, uh, while we're here, we have some liner showing on our edges. Uh, and what we'll do is, while we have this pumped down, we're gonna restack some stone through here and get that liner covered. We don't wanna see that. So uh, that's what we're doing at the moment. And once we start getting some fish out of here, we'll show you how we do it. So Patrick is pulling out our our lava rocks here and then these will all get washed down so there's usually two or three bags of lava rock depending on the size of the biofalls and then these will get tossed out in the yard and rinsed down and then that way they are nice and clean and ready for the season So we've got our pond drained down now. We are going to start scooping fish. Uh, you can see all of our fish here uh, nicely corralled in the bottom of our pond and about six inches of water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll hop in there, start netting fish, then I'll hand the net off to Patrick there and he'll put them in our tank. Also in our tank we have our aerator going. This helps calm the fish and adds plenty of oxygen uh, to the water while the fish are in here. This is a stressful uh, time for them being taken out of their home and then you know put in a tank they don't know where they are. Uh, so it's it's anytime we can add extra oxygen to the water uh, certainly helps the fish. Also we've added our detoxifier which has a calming effect on the fish as well so uh, we'll go ahead and start getting these fish out and uh, move on to the next step all right so we have our pond 
drained. A little bit of water in the bottom. All of our fish are out. Patrick is over here. He's cleaning out the skimmer. So what we like to do is scoop the water and debris and stuff out of the bottom of our skimmer here. Uh, and that way we can get any debris, any leaves, stuff that's collected over the season. Get that all out and we just throw it in the pond here and we'll dump it, uh, pump it out uh, with our pump. Uh, but uh, now that we have everything drained down and cleaned out uh, filter mat wise, we are going to start power washing and getting these rocks cleaned up. Okay, so we've got our pond uh, rinsed down, or uh, power washed down. Uh, as you can see, our stones look a lot cleaner than they did before. Patrick is in there, he's getting the rest of the, uh, the dirty water out, so that way we can flush everything down again and uh, get all that extra debris out. Uh, we are going to get our biofalls put back together. So inside of our biofalls, there are two types of filtration. There's a, uh, a mechanical filtration, which the water passes up through filter pads, and then there's a biological filtration uh, that the water goes through uh, lava rock, where the beneficial bacteria uh, kind of thrives. So what I want to show you here is these are the two filter pads that came out of our biofalls. Uh, you can see uh, the thickness of our biofall pads. So what we're doing is we are going to replace it with two new biofall pads. And you can see the difference between the new and the old. Uh, these are the same exact pads. Uh, obviously, uh, the old ones here have been used. Uh, and we want the best filtration for our pond. So we're going to put uh, two new pads in and uh, get the most benefit out of our biofalls here. So uh, we'll get these things put back and uh, keep moving on. As you can see, we've got our pond uh, power washed and Patrick is rinsing it down the final time. Uh, we have gone through, we have covered our liner. Uh, anywhere there is a uh, black liner showing, uh, we've covered it up, so everything's all covered now. Now what we want to do is, uh, in our stream here, you can see we've got a loose rock here. Uh, we want to get that set back in place so that our water flows over top of it instead of around it. So we're going to foam that back together. Uh, while we're here, we're going to check you know, all of our other foamed areas, make sure our water is going the way we want it to. Uh, and then uh, once we get that set in place, we'll check our lights here, make sure those are uh, set where we want them and hide these wires. We certainly don't want those to distract from the beauty of the waterfall here. Okay, so we've got our pond cleaned up. We are starting to fill it with our hose. Our biofalls is back together. We've got our two rock on top of it. Now we're putting our skimmer back together here. So you can see we've got our mat rack in the bottom. We've got our pump hooked up. Now we're going to put our filter mat back in. sets in there and then we're going to take our debris basket and get that set back in place also while we're in the skimmer basket now is a good time to check our eye engine probe uh, the eye engine probe here is to take care of string algae uh, it grows uh, on the waterfall and on rocks around the pond great device here takes care of that you don't have to worry about it at all so one thing we want to check is we always want to make sure we have two individual probes here. We don't want any uh, any growth or anything in between here and that way it allows the water to pass through and uh, collect the ions that kill the string algae. So this one's nice and clean. It still has two full probes on it. So we'll get this set back in our skimmer here. Uh, and then we're going to start putting our water back in and get our fish back in the pond and we'll be back. 
All right, so we are refilling our pond. Uh, it's also a good time to fertilize any plants that you have in your pond. We've got a lotus here. Uh, we've got an iris back here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get these fertilized, and that way when they start growing, they've got some extra nutrients to help them get going for the season. Uh, it's always a good idea to fertilize at least once a month. Uh, if you're not one that gets into your pond, at least do it uh, in the spring. That way they at least have a little bit of something to help them going for the season. So while we're refilling our pond here, we always want to add our bacteria and our detoxifier. So we always keep these jugs on the truck uh, ready for a clean out. So the detoxifier will take care of any chlorine that's in the water. Uh, it'll also help uh, reduce stress for fish and rebuild their skim coat or their slime coat, uh, getting moved from the pond to the tank in the back, the net and stones, things like that can wear on that, that slime coat that helps rebuild that. So we always want to add uh, enough so uh, it takes care of any chlorine that's in our water. Okay, so we have our pond filled up here. Uh, a couple last things, uh, what we wanna do is, uh, on this pond we have an Aquascape automatic dosing system. And what this does is this uh, constantly adds uh, beneficial bacteria and uh, some other components to the pond to help keep debris uh, reduced in the pond. So since we're here doing our clean out, we're going to install a new maintain bag, uh, which is actually what comes with the the kit when it's first installed. Uh, that's uh, just a, a basic um, beneficial bacteria that that your pond needs. So while we're here, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. And uh, once we get this running, we'll turn the waterfall on and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our fish back in. We've got our water in. We've just turned on our pump, which runs our waterfall. So uh, you can see what a difference a clean out makes here. So we've got our water crystal clear for now. Uh, I'm sure once the waterfall kind of rinses down a little bit, it'll get murky, but uh, within 24 to 48 hours, this will clear up and be crystal clear again. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching us uh, do this clean out. And if you all have any questions, just let us know. Thanks for watching.